come back. So, right now, I'm going to get my X-Max fixed up because it's a nice day and I haven't been able to run. So I'm hoping I can fix this thing real quick and get out and do some ripping today. It's the bad thing about having my X-Max down is that I run it so much that uh, when it's down, it sucks. My cat biting on me. Get the wheels off when they're wedged in there with rocks. Took an impact, but Hex is doing good. These J Concepts have been doing awesome. Really digging them. They're not pulling out of the bead. They're doing really well. Little on-road repair. That bird's been chirping for the last hour. Brought a pick so I can slide the pin out. Last time I didn't have a pick or so it's left. Didn't have a pick or a pair of pliers. So it made it tough. I changed out a front arm. It was kind of difficult, so. Pins are the same length. Man, that axle's a little bent too. Bearings feeling minty fresh. Try not to rip the packages completely open. All that water I spray on my RC. People expect all my bearings to be rusted. But I, like I showed, I pack them in grease. Listen to that bird go. He is just happy to be alive today. There's a little tension on that. Why is there so much slop in that upper? A lot of slop in that upper. Making sure my pins aren't pulling out on the upper. Oh. Where did the little screw row to? I 
no, I put them both there. And I had to pull everything out of this trunk to find this little screw. We are good to go. X Max lives to bash another day. There it is. Ridiculous. All right, let me get these batteries out. So I can get them charged up. We can go rip today. Forest, forest. These two forests. Keep it covered. There we go. All right, so went ahead, wanted to talk about the Max Slash a little bit. Went ahead and re-glued the wheels, just putting them on. What other RC comes with three-piece wheels? This is kind of ridiculous. Most complicated wheel on the market, but People always pay extra for three-piece wheels. So we're getting these things glued up. So got them, got them all glued up. And I want to talk about uh, gearing a little bit. So like I guys, like I told you guys. I wasn't going to discuss gearing. Here's the 25 tooth that we took out. The stock pinion. Went ahead and put in a Techno 29 tooth. And with the 29 tooth, some trimming had to be done. And then I have a 33 tooth here. Nothing bigger than... So right in here the top cover normally sits on another screw so I had to trim it out on the edge and the bottom literally the di distance between the bottom of that pinion and the plastic is about as thick as a paper so at this point 29 is the largest largest pinion I can fit in here without any modifications the largest you're going to be able to fit in there is a 27 tooth uh, you might be able to squeeze a 28 might rub a touch but 27 is about all you're going to be able to get in there 2744 the only way to change that is to eliminate the cush drive and then run an 8 millimeter shaft, no cush drive, pin it, and then you can run regular 8 millimeter shaft pinions as spur gears. Kind of like uh, the Arma Limitless does. So that's what we got for gearing in here. Went 86 miles an hour. 
with uh, 29.44. Now, I think I can get it with the new batteries and everything. Probably get this thing up to, I'd say, 90, possibly 95. I don't know if it'll hit 100. People were talking about maybe throwing on foam tires. Foam tires are a lot shorter. And I don't have the gearing for that. What I have to do is go to a taller tire. A belted tire. So that's what we have to do. That's what I'll have to do. I'm trying to do this without major modifications. Anything that's going to cost a bunch of money. So, so far, pinion spur. And a takeoff ESC. From the X Max. But there we go. We're going to get out. Tires are glued again. And uh, we'll get out, run it, hopefully to hold. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next repairs. Thanks for watching. Right at the 70 miles an hour. Read. There you go. 80 miles an hour. No body. So a 10 mile an hour difference.